Let's talk about distribution, and I think it'll be good to start with an example. So let's say I have a binomial like x plus 2. I'm going to put it in brackets here, and I'm going to multiply it by the number 4. So I'm going to put the 4 on the front. And so whenever you see a number just kind of attached to the front of a bracket or a term, that means you're multiplying, right? There might not be a little x here or a dot that we're used to seeing, but that's still multiplication, so get used to seeing that. Now, if you wanted to distribute or multiply out this expression, what does that mean? Well, it means you're going to multiply this 4 by everything that you see in the binomial. So 4 times x and 4 times 2. And so how do you write that out? Well, 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times 2 is 4 times 2. And then you could simplify that and say this is equal to 4x plus 8. So that's how you distribute a number into a binomial, just like that. You just multiply it by one term and then the other term, just like that. And now this is what we call expansion, right? This is a specific type of expansion where we're distributing just one number, so we call it distribution. But the more general term for this is called expansion. So let's look at another example. Let's try to do 7 times 2x plus 3. Okay, so let's distribute this. 7 times 2x is 14x. 7 times 3 is 21. That's your final answer. Let's do another one. Let's do 2x times 3x plus 6. Okay, so 2x times 3x is going to be 6x squared, right? Because 2 times 3 is 6 and x times x is x squared. And then 2x times 6 is going to be 12x. So you get 6x squared plus 12x. All right, let's do another one. Let's say you have 3 times 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. Okay, so now this bracket here, or these parentheses, do not contain a binomial. They contain a trinomial, right? There's three terms here instead of two. That's okay. We do the exact same process, right? We multiply this number in by every single term in the brackets. So 3 times 2x squared is 6x squared. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times 4 is 12. That's how you do that distribution. Let's do one more just to make sure that we're comfortable with this. Let's say that we have 1 half times a times 4a squared plus 3a minus 2b plus 6b squared. So a half a times 4a squared, what is that? Well, a half times 4 is just 2, right? It's like saying 4 divided by 2. So you get 2. And then a times a squared is a cubed. So your first term is 2a cubed. All right. Now a half a times 3a. Well, the half times 3 is going to be 3 over 2. And then a times a is a squared. All right. Half a minus 2b. Well, half times 2, and that's negative, is just going to be negative 1. And then a times b is just ab, just like that. All right. Then 1 half a times 6b squared. Well, a half times 6 is 3. And then a times b squared is just ab squared, just like that. 